All right, Shalom. First and foremost, for all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. The Barnes, the Apostle, and the Great Millstone are teaching us the one percent truth according to the Well, and peace and blessings so afflict the nation of Israel. Take their spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. When we get to a uh, Lord's only FI lesson, you know, uh, dealing with repentance. And then we're going to uh, start off here in uh, Matthew, the fourth chapter. And uh, we'll start the 16th verse. It says, the people which sat in darkness saw great light, right? And, you know, fast forward to today in our times, you know, we as a nation have been, we're sitting in darkness, you know, in the ignorance of not knowing who we were, you know, living a life of sin, following the ways of the heathens. You know, chiefly Esau, Edom, the so-called white man today, the biblical, uh, the so-called white man, which is the biblical Edomites, you know, following their, 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 their way of life. You see, it says, from the people who sat in darkness saw a great light, and that great light is Yahweh Shai, you know, which the ways of righteousness is what he's teaching us, the ways of the Heavenly Father, how one may inherit everlasting life, you see. And to them which sat in the rain and shadow of death, life is sprung, it light is sprung up. You see, so light has been, uh, the, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, which is, you know, uh, in the, which Yahweh Shai embodies that, is, is the light, you see, has sprung up in the earth. You know, especially here in America, as you see, you know, uh, starting with the Apostles of the Great Millstone and, and their leaders before them who have uh, pr uh, pushed forth, you know, the, the doctrine the, 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 the doctrine of Yahweh by Shema Shai, a, a message of repentance, a, a message of turning back, you know, a message of, you know, uh, there's, there's still uh, yet grace that we've been given because of the sacrifice of our Lord Yahweh Shai. And the fact that he, you know, gave himself up for an offering, he was uh, for us all. You see, uh, all all of who, all the nation of Israel, you know, who whom the Lord uh, dies died for, and the heavenly Father rose him up again. You see, from that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, "Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand." So we're coming in those same. Uh, footsteps in these times, right? Saying repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven, right? The kingdom of heaven is what? Um, when you read here in Daniel's uh, 2 and 44, <coughs> and in, in, in the days of these kings, right? The God of heaven shall set up a kingdom. That's the kingdom of heaven. The God of heaven it's going to set up his kingdom down here upon the earth, ran by Yahweh Shai, right? And the 144,000 men, the government body, and the rest of the elect. You see? It says, which shall never be destroyed. That's the kingdom that Yahweh Shai is prophet, pro, pro, promising to, uh, to those who repent in the everlasting kingdom. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. The kingdom shall not be shared with other nations, but it shall break into pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. So the kingdom of heaven, which shall stand forever, is for the Lord's people, right? It's for uh, the nation of Israel, right? And this is why, as we are part of the nation of Israel, we have been... Uh, commanded to repent and to turn back. This is St. Luke 1 and 68. Um, 67, and his father, Zacharias, filled with the Holy Spirit, prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people. How, did he re how have we been redeemed? Uh, by the blood of the Lamb, you see? And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David, right? Because Yahweh Shai was of the seed line, the lineage of David. 
It says, as he spake by the mouth of the holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, right? So we as the nation of Israel, we have enemies. And as we were uh, hauled off into captivity for our uh, sins, us disobeying the ways of Yahweh by Shema Shai, we broke uh, the, the, the covenant that we made, our forefathers made between us and the Heavenly Father. Uh, the enemies, which are the heathens, our enemies, which are the heathen nations, uh, came together in one consent to cut us off from being a nation. But now it says to perform the mercies promised to our fathers. Yeah, but now to perform the mercies promise to our forefathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, has he risen unto us? Uh, has a Savior been risen unto us? Yahweh Shai. You see? And to remember his holy covenant, his holy covenant that uh, Abraham and his seed would, it, would uh, inherit the promised land. You know, uh, Jerusalem. You see? It says... The oath which he swore to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we, being delivered out of the hand of our enemies, might serve him without fear. You see? And it's coming to a time where, yes, you're going to be uh, hated. You're going to be, you're going to be uh, opposition. You're going to be demonized for uh, standing for righteousness but that's what you want. Ezra saw upon Mount, upon Mount Zion, you know, a, a, a great multitude of people, of men, you know, uh, of the nation of Israel, you know, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. He saw the elect. And, uh, he saw those who stood stiffly for the name of the Lord. It says, the oath... Which, uh, sorry, it says in holiness, righteousness, and in righteousness before him all the days of our life. It says, and thou, child, shall be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his way. Speaking about uh, John the Baptist, he would be uh, a, the prophet to come before uh, Yahweh Shai to prepare his way. It says to give knowledge of salvation unto his people, which are the, the who are the heavenly father's people, the nation of Israel, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins, by the remission of their sins through the tender mercy of our God, whereby day spring from on high have visited us to give light to them that sit in darkness you see and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace so it says the child grew and waxed strong in spirit and was in the desert till the day of his showing unto Israel right so <clears throat> we all uh have heard this message of repentance, right? As the scriptures talk about how uh, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world, and then shall the end come, right? And the majority of our people, as it's prophesied, two thirds of our people will be cut off and die, but a remnant of them shall return, right? Uh, yet while this grace period is still open, you know, uh, you have to have the mindset to turn back and repent. Because things are only going to get worse. Things are only going to get harder. And the only refuge, you know, even though you're going to be hated uh, uh, for, you know, stepping out on faith and, 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 and displaying righteousness in the earth, you know, it's rather be hated, you know, uh, by men for righteousness. It's better that you suffer for righteousness sake than ask for an evildoer. You see, Luke uh, 13 and 3, I tell you, nay. Um, I'm going to read verse five, uh, verse 3. It says, I tell ye nay. I'm going to start verse 2. And how wish I answer and say unto them, Suppose ye that these Galileans were sinners above all the Galileans because they suffered such things? I tell ye nay, but except ye repent, 
ye shall all likewise perish. So at least you repent, you know, at least you turn back for your sins, you're going to uh, likewise perish, you know. Uh, and, and yes, we have all sinned, but those who uh, willfully sin, those who uh, are just, um, you know, neglecting the ways of Yah by Shema Shai, willfully uh, breaking the law of the commandments of the Lord, you know, not showing any ounce of faith, not showing any ounce of remorse, a humble and contrite spirit, Yah by Shema Shai would not despise, you know, the Lord is near uh, the poor and needy, right, in the, in the man that trembleth at his words. This is a Acts 3, um, and we'll start at 16 and his name through faith and his name have made this man whole right yahweh bahashim yahweh shai you know through faith in that name is how one is able to uh, become whole right whole being healthy healthy in the mind healthy uh in your spirit right no longer uh would you uh Follow the ways of darkness. Um, let me get that. I'm gonna get that. This is a Proverbs uh, 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding. It says, uh, verse 15 is it is joy to the just to do judgment, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Right? So if you wander out of the way, when you wander, you're lost. You know, you don't know, you're moving aimlessly, no sense of direction. You know, Jake don't know uh, the directions and in, in the path that's needed to be, t the steps that need to be taken on the path of righteousness. They're leaning on to their own understanding. Right, the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding, right? There's a way which seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. It says, The man that wandereth out of the ways of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Right? You're gonna remain in the midst of 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 a of people who are without wisdom, without knowledge. You see, you're not going to be able to escape. As you are lost, you're not looking towards the light, Yahweh Shai. Um, back in Acts uh, 3, in the 16. This is um, Acts 3 and 16. It says, In his name through faith, in his name have made this man strong, whom ye see and know, yea, the the faith which is by him have given him this perfect soundness and in the presence of all of you. And now, brethren, I wot that through ignorance ye did it as did also your rulers. So it was a time uh, when we walked in ignorance, you know, um, murmuring, you know, some brothers, you know, might not have believed in the scriptures, you know, uh, some brothers even were scoffers at one t point in time, but then the Lord, uh, you know, uh, wink, there was a time when the most high winked at our ignorance, you know, and, uh, now we're here today, you know, serving the Yahweh Shema Shai in fear and trembling. It says, but those things which Yahweh before have showed by the mouth of all prophets, that Yahweh Shai shall suffer, he have so fulfilled. Right? It was it was a uh, it was needful for Yahweh Shai to go through those things and to be hated and rejected of men to fulfill the words of prophecy. Right? And when Yahweh Shai, you know, uh ascended on high, right, he sent uh uh gifts down to men. Right, and, and that ultimate gift is to get the faith that we have received in these times. It says, Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out. Right, so we've all sinned and fall short of the glory of the Most High, but we have to repent and uh, be with change, you see, uh, 
we have to we have to with change right <laughs> Uh, change uh, the way we uh, conduct ourselves, the way we see things, the way we judge uh, situations. Our judgment and our actions has to be in line with what the scriptures uh, command us to do, right? And, and the biggest thing of all, we must have faith. You see, it says, Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be plotted, blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, right? We're, we're in those times of refreshing now when we're being refreshed as a people, all right? Uh, I'll get one more scripture. This is um St. John 7 and uh, 37. In the day, in, in, the, in the last day, that great day of the feast, Yahabushai, stood and cried saying if any man thirst let him come unto me and drink right and 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 was he drinking he that believed on me as the scripture have said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water right out of your belly you know where when, when you die you know when you digest food you know you digest them what in your belly but when you digest words, what you digest those words in your mind. So out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. So is the your your thoughts become uh your actions. <laughs> your act your your thoughts become your character and your character become your actions. Right? So, you know, as we've been commanded uh, to repent and to turn back uh, for the day of Yahweh, Shema, Shah, Draw, Nai, Shalom.